Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, I moved some more brush today. I didn't do a whole lot else. Uh, and uh, I'm actually kind of tired, so I'm going to call it a day. Um, I did get quite a bit done earlier, and I just ran out of gas. <laughs> I, uh, a little tired. And uh, so I am definitely done for today. I'm actually going to put my flag inside here. Just getting this ready. Sorry, this is all over the place. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to set this down. Hold on one second. Let me just put this away. All right, so that's it. I'm sorry I forgot to uh, put my flag away. I may be coming back tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, the forecast is saying a 70% chance of rain. Uh, my brother-in-law wanted to come up tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. If not, um, I definitely will be back up here Friday. And there's my plants. I'm going to leave them out here. And uh, But uh, I'm actually satisfied with what I got done today. It, uh, it kicked my butt a little bit, honestly. I'll be telling you the truth, but uh, it was uh, it was nice. I mean, I accomplishing something even a little bit at a time, working towards your goal, is uh, is a good thing. Um, it's not a tremendous amount of wood over here, but it's a good start. And uh, I got a lot of a lot of stuff to cut. So and there actually is a lot of stuff already down. Um, I have a lot of stuff already split, so, you know, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, getting it over there, getting it stacked up. Excuse me, I'm going to talk to you as I get in the car here. Um, you know, it's it's funny how, uh, how things go, and one day you can be really down, and, you know, just... That's how it was Saturday. I was very, very down Saturday. So, you know, I wasn't motivated and didn't want to get anything done. I probably should leave these up so I can talk. Um, but, you know, it's just, it, it's, it's baby steps. And I, I appreciate all the encouragement that everybody's given me. I, I really do. Um, you know, it's just, uh, I know I'm making progress. But, you know, obviously all of us would like things to go faster than uh, they already are. And uh, so, you know, it's uh, it's baby steps right now. Um, as time goes on, hopefully I can get more accomplished. You know, I'm going to have to get more accomplished, obviously. Um, it's looking according to my real estate agent that I will be up here this year. So, um, we're just gonna accomplish what we can get done, work at it week by week. I mean, it's May right now, and uh, this weekend is obviously Memorial Day weekend. And, uh, but, uh, you know, like I said, it's just uh, one step at a time, and uh, it will get there, and I know it will. It's just I just got to keep pushing through and, and get things done. I want things done way faster than they're getting done. Um, like I said, I wish I had the extra money now to be able to have my bulldozer guy come in and do what I want him to do. But that's going to have to wait a little while, which is okay. I mean, it'll, uh, it'll all get done, and it's just going to take a little bit of time. And uh, we will get there. It's... Uh, you know, like I said, I am making progress, I'm making headway, but uh, it just, it seems like it's long and drawn out and it's taken forever, but, uh, you know, like I say, one step at a time, and I've said it like three or four times already, I apologize, but uh, I'm excited still, I love the property, it's beautiful up there, uh, now that everything's greening up, 
it just it just is so so peaceful and that's what I like about it the best and um, you know like I said I'm, I'm happy with my progress I wish it was more but that's how we all are we all wish it was yesterday it was done yesterday but uh, it will get there and uh, it's gonna be an interesting journey I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be it's gonna be a real interesting journey and uh, you know I'm glad to have you guys along for the ride and um, you know it's going to be interesting and hopefully you enjoy this and you appreciate it and, and realize that it is possible but uh, it takes a lot of hard work um, a lot of effort and you've got to be determined and you can't give up you know I mean I've had some setbacks this year uh, work-wise but uh, you know what you you persevere and you drive on and uh, you know there's no quit I don't quit so um, I get frustrated but uh, I have no quitting me. So, but and I know that what I'm doing is the right thing, and that uh, long term, it's going to be an awesome place. I'm not going to have the bills that everybody else has, and that's the big part of it too for me. And it's a great area to keep my family safe. Um, that's you know one of the main things with being a prepper. You know, prepper off grid. I'm a combination of both. Um, I want to be off grid because I want the independence. Um, I want to have a safe area and uh, to be in a good spot as far as for prepping um, so that I can keep my friends and family safe and the people in my group. And, um, you know, so that's, that's what it's all about for me. And uh, it's a perfect location and it's just, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, it's high up elevation so I don't have, really have to worry about flooding other than water coming down off the hill but uh, you know we're not going to flood like uh, we had one of our towns up here um, uh, just got hammered they had nine feet of water through the town and a lot of destruction uh, Penyan and uh, so it, you know the thing is up there I don't have to worry about that yeah there's a lot of water be a lot of standing water and stuff like that until I get things scored way more but I'm not going to have to worry about my property being washed away and water up over nine feet. Because if water gets up over nine feet up here, then we better be building the ark. Okay, that's all I have to say about that. Um, I, you know, it's it's a real high elevation and it's beautiful. And I, I like I said, I love it. And uh, but like I said, it's just uh, it's one step at a time. And uh, actually, I'm going to show you guys something neat when we get down here. Um, just give you an idea how much water we had. You gotta wait till I get down off the hill, though. But um, anyway, so I just keep rambling on for the moment. Let me actually look and see how much time I'm at here. All right, I'm eight minutes in. I got like six minutes to go on this uh, cartridge. But um, anyway, you know, I uh, actually had a really wonderful conversation with a gentleman yesterday. Um, there's preppers everywhere, guys. I mean, it's like you may not know it, and um, <clears throat> but uh, I had a real good conversation, and he said, uh, you know, it sounds like me and you are on the same page, and it definitely does. So he's going to check out my channel. I gave him uh, my channel, and uh, so he's going to check that out, and uh, he's going to get back in touch with me. And it's just networking. Um, you know, I actually had received an email from uh, someone, I won't say who it was, but, uh, you know, she had uh, said that her and her husband and her son prep. And uh, they wanted to know, um, they're down in the Finger Lakes area, and they wanted to know, um, you know, as far as networking and stuff like that. So um, I actually just sent her another message, and hopefully she replies to that because, uh, you know, it's, uh, you never can have too much as far as networking goes. And uh, having other people that do the same thing that you do, it's, it's a very smart thing in the long run. So, um, you know, working together, you know, having people that, like, if something happens that, okay, you know, you might have a small group here, we got a small group over here, and, uh, you know, maybe you have to hook up and, and connect together, but if you establish those bonds ahead of time, it, it makes it transition much, much easier. Um, you know, I'm all, my philosophy, and I, I tell people this all the time, I prepare for the worst and I hope for the best. I'll be honest with you, I hope nothing ever happens. 
but unfortunately, the way our society is going, the way our government is acting, and what they're doing, I see bad things in the future for this country, and it saddens me, actually. I mean, I don't want that to happen. Um, you know, people think that a lot of preppers are crazy and that we have some agenda. I just, you know, my family is number one. Always has been, always will be. Um, it used to be my wife and my kids. Now my, she's now my ex-wife. But uh, I'll be honest with you, if something went bad and she said, Ed, help me, I would help her. Just because that's kind of how I am, you know. Um, you know, it, it happens. You know, things happen. And uh, But, uh, you know, you can't help everybody. But she's the mother of my children. And if it would keep my kids, you know, more rock solid in a crisis situation, then I would have her there. It's just the way it is. It's what I would do. Um, but, uh, you know... I just, my priority is always my kids, keeping them safe, keeping them squared away. We're getting closer to the bottom of the hill, guys, and I'm going to sign off. i got to look and see what i got left. All right, got like three minutes left on this thing. So I wanted to show you how bad, give you an idea, how bad the flooding was. And uh, so when this video just stops, I may not say prepper nurse went out for now. So if it just stops, it just stops. But uh, I'm trying to get down here so you can see how bad the flooding has been. And uh, but like I said, it's uh, it's working together. You know, it's everybody pulling together, working together. You're going to have people in your group that you never expected to have, and uh, that is going to happen. And um, let me just see if I can. You can see that now. Nah, you can't see that yet. All right, we're we're working down towards the bottom of the hill. And uh, we're going to be pulling out onto the main drag. And you're going to get an idea of how truly bad the flooding was up here. Um, I should be able to make this with no problem. We had a lot of water up here. There's still a lot of water around. It's not as bad as it was. Um, let me just... show you guys here in just a minute what I may just do is I'll stop let me see what I got left I got a minute 46 I'm good all right I may just stop the truck and then zoom in so you guys can get an idea because it's absolutely incredible how much water we've had See it so good from there. So hold on, we'll go down the road a little bit. So anyway, um one of the neighbors staring there. Okay. I'm gonna pull over here and I'm gonna show you guys how bad this is. I'll get hit by a car. Alright. I got like 55 seconds, guys, so hold one second and I will show you this. These are farmers' fields out here. So, these are fields. These are not reservoirs of water, those are fields. And they're completely flooded. The road down there was cut off the other day. You couldn't even drive out to the farm way out there, but you can see how much water we had. So, all right, so that kind of gives you an idea how bad the flooding was. All right, prepper nurse went out for now. I'll talk to you guys.